A Franz von Stuck, a renowned German artist of the late 19th and early 20th centuries, is primarily remembered for his contributions to the symbolism art movement. At 15, he settled in Munich, where his artistic journey began. In 1881, he enrolled in the academy, marking the start of his formal education. His breakthrough came in 1889 with the painting Guardian of Paradise, which propelled him to recognition within Munich's artistic circles. The pinnacle of Stuck's career arrived during the last decade of the 19th century, characterized by great success and vitality. Departing from conventional art, Stuck co-founded the Munich Secession in 1892 while ironically assuming a teaching position at the Munich Academy. Alongside painting, Stuck demonstrated proficiency in sculpture and decoration. He often crafted frames for his artworks and designed furniture. However, following the conclusion of the Great War, Stuck's artistic endeavors suffered a fate similar to that of other symbolists. Post-war pessimism rendered his work irrelevant to subsequent generations. Franz von Stuck, the artist renowned for his dreamlike depictions of religious and classical themes, unsettling landscapes and seductive femme fatales, passed away in 1928, relatively obscure. Born in 1863 as the son of a miller in the tranquil South German village of Tettenweiss, Franz von Stuck's inclination toward drawing manifested at a young age. Despite his modest background, he enrolled at the Kunstgewerbe Schule School of Applied Arts in Munich in 1878. Three years later, he gained admission to the city's Academy of Fine Arts. During his student years, he supported himself by working as an illustrator for contemporary allegorical magazines and books. These early designs adhered to the academic tradition which had been declared the German national style in the 1870s. Between 1882 and 1884, Stuck's drawings appeared in Allegorien und Embleme foreshadowing his departure from the prevailing trend of historicism and introducing his unique compositions and subjects. In 1884, Stuck's artwork, Steam Power, diverged from the conventional allegories of the era, both in style and subject matter. The piece depicted a commanding figure holding the reins of a three-headed winged dragon, reminiscent of the fiery Cerberus, the Hound of Hell. The dynamic composition exuded tremendous energy with its dramatic foreshortening and division of the picture surface. Stuck's drawings for Karten und Vignetten, a collection of 50 designs for wine lists, menus and invitation cards, showcased his humorous side. These illustrations depicted boys at play and introduced figures such as Dionysian Pan, Fauns and other fantastical beings that would dominate his artistic creations in the years to come. Gradually, Stuck's perspective underwent a complete transformation, and he became less interested in attending the academy, instead considering himself primarily self-taught. In the late 1880s, Franz von Stuck transitioned towards symbolism, exemplified by his Guardian of Paradise. Presented at the annual exhibition at Munich Glass Palace in 1889, this piece confirmed Stuck's artistic prowess. It garnered critical acclaim, earning the 26-year-old artist a gold medal, a substantial sum of money, and the attention of many reviewers. The painting marked a departure from the favored styles of the Academy and the popular peasant genre represented by Franz von der Freger. It defied categorization of naturalism, plein air, or impressionism, the avant-garde movements celebrated in Munich. With Guardian of Paradise, Stuck approached the realm of soulful imagery, seen in the works of Arnold Bocklin, Max Klinger, and the tradition of English pre-Raphaelites. The biblical cherub entrusted with guarding the entrance to paradise is transformed into an idealized androgynous youth embodying the concept of being elevated above humanity. In the background, vibrant colors burst forth, depicting paradise as an ethereal realm beyond the limits of visible reality. The final decade of the 19th century marked the apex of Stuck's career within Munich's artistic circles. Throughout the 19th century, Munich grew into Germany's primary artistic center, boasting prestigious museums such as the Glyptothek, the Alte Pinakothek, and the Neue Pinakothek. In 1892, conflicts within the Künstlergenossenschaft, 
Munich Artist Association, responsible for organizing the Munich Glass Palace exhibitions, reached a breaking point. About 100 dissident artists, including Bruno Pigelhein, Hugo von Habermann, Fritz von Ude, and Franz von Stuck, split from the association and established the Munich Secession. The year 1893 played a pivotal role in Stuck's career. Not only was he appointed as a royal professor, but the inaugural secessionist exhibition, supported by Prince Regent Luitpold of Bavaria, enjoyed a resounding success. Despite this, Stuck believed that he attained official recognition only when his painting Sin exhibited at the Secession Exhibition garnered critical acclaim and was acquired by the Neue Pinakothek. In 1895, Stuck assumed the professor position at the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, where he influenced and shaped future avant-garde artists like Paul Klee and Wassily Kandinsky. Franz von Stuck married Mary Lynn Peintner, an American, in 1897. Within a year, he oversaw the construction of Villa Stuck, a testament to his design, sculpture, interior decoration, and architecture skills. The villa abounded with symbolism and featured Stuck's works, including reliefs depicting divine processions leading to the studio. Unfortunately, the house suffered damage during World War II and numerous artworks were destroyed. The decade concluded with Stuck earning a gold medal for his furniture design at the 1900 World Fair in Paris. Franz von Stuck's artistic output during the late 19th century aligned with the symbolist movement, focusing on exploring the inner self. A prominent theme in Stuck's work and symbolism as a whole was the femme fatale, representing the dangerous woman. Stuck's embodiment of sin stands as a quintessential image of German symbolism. In this piece, a black snake coils around a pale woman identified as Eve. Both the woman and the snake make direct eye contact with the viewer. Unlike traditional portrayals of Eve as a weak female succumbing to Satan's temptation, Stuck presents her as wicked, captivating the viewer or the man with her gaze. An introspective aspect of Franz von Stuck's art reveals itself through an often overlooked genre, landscapes. Around 1890, Stuck frequented the artist's colony at Osternberg, a picturesque location in the Inviertel region. During this time, he began creating studies for his work titled Trout Pond, which reflects contemporary symbolist tendencies. The dark tree trunks mirrored in the somber waters of the pond, the concentric circles formed by rising fish, and the soft glow of twilight combined to evoke a melancholic and slightly foreboding atmosphere. The motif of still water and its reflective surface is associated with positive narcissism. Like Narcissus, the youth from Ovid's Metamorphoses who gazes at his reflection in the water, oblivious to the outside world as he withdraws into his own self-created realm, the artist becomes a solitary figure engrossed in his own inner world. Although primarily known as a painter, Franz von Stuck did not limit himself to a single artistic medium. His foray into sculpture began with Athlete, his first bronze sculpture. Inspired by a trip to Rome, Stuck's paintings already exhibited a sculptural approach to figures, making sculpture a natural progression in his artistic journey. The influence of sculptor Adolf von Hildebrand can be seen in Stuck's work, which emphasizes linear contours. This approach reflects his belief in the revival of ancient art. Athlete was designed to offer different perspectives from each side, showcasing the tension and power of the athlete who defies the weight of the ball by firmly planting both feet on the base, a result of numerous anatomical studies. Stuck's talent as a designer was also recognized when he received a gold medal for the furniture of his villa. Like his sculptures, the furniture drew inspiration from ancient Greek examples and contemporary designs. The red chair, a favorite prop in Stuck's portraits, particularly those of his wife Mary, exhibits a rectilinear appearance influenced by the cube-shaped furniture created by Austrian designer Josef Hoffmann. Following the turmoil caused by the end of the Great War, the symbolist themes of the fin de siècle era seemed irrelevant. Franz von Stuck, who had risen to prominence as a leading German artist, became increasingly isolated in his final years and was largely forgotten after his passing on August 30, 1928. In the history of 20th century art, Stuck's work was initially undervalued and dismissed as a relic of the past. 
Only in the reopening of Villa Stuck in 1968 did a renewed interest in Stuck's life and art emerge. However, even then, art historians held differing opinions regarding the significance of his achievements. Nevertheless, his art was undeniably innovative, as his flat decorative compositions and non-perspectival structures played a crucial role in the development of modern art. Behind his symbolic themes lay depictions of passionate love and the ongoing battle between the sexes, which remain relevant today.